go get them. Are we having fun yet? We are talking about Devante Kukok. Okay, I, I have honestly, guys, I have no idea how to say his. I'm so sorry. I have no idea how to say his name. But before we talk about Devante, because I have a few. I have a few reservations, okay? I, I don't want to be a negative Nancy, but I got a few reservations. But let's talk about something really quickly. Guys, please, if, if you know about this already, don't just just skip over this, okay? Just just skip this part. Just skip this part. We're talking about the giveaway really quick. Re really quick. Okay, I'm sorry. Just just really quick. All right, so we're going to be giving away the Jonte Murray jersey that was sent to me by a patron in which he said, hey, you can either keep it or you can give it away. This month, I decided to just give it away for our monthly giveaway. So I do monthly giveaways every single month, obviously and you know it comes from your guys support so if you guys want to enter that um and future monthly giveaways all you have to do is become a patron member it's only two dollars per month you can support the channel and i can give back to you or you can become a youtube member either one uh it it, it will it will help and i'll be able to uh continue to do these monthly giveaways every single month okay so let's talk about Devonte. okay all right so let's talk about them so overall um, I'm going to say all the positive things that I've seen from him thus far. And one word comes to mind when I see him play. And that word is hustle. I mean, he plays hard, uh, whether it be a loose ball, whether it be getting in the passing lanes all the time, he's there. He's averaging nearly, well, I won't say nearly three. I mean, he's about 0.4 away, but 2.6 steals a game is kind of kind of ridiculous even in the g league um and you can even see his recent player news in which yeah 31 points 13 rebounds five steals two assists and then after that 26 points 15 rebounds four assists three steals and after that 23 points 11 rebounds and two steals so obviously with numbers like this spurs fans are going to start to talk people are going to start saying hey he should come on the team he's going to make us so much better you know blase blase and in my opinion i think yeah i would like for him to be on the squad but i do have a few reservations just just a few um i've watched quite a few of the g league games right and one thing that i grasp from g league obviously if you, if you watch the g league you know this is that it's more so a highlight league in which you're going to get a lot of opportunities to look really good and he's attempting nearly 14 field goal attempts a game which is which is crazy and he's making about eight that that's crazy okay that's really that's really good that's really great and it's 59 percent i will say this from what i've seen from him it's a lot of setup a lot of his points are set up i i'm not seeing a lot of shot creation but even with that being said when he does create his own shot because he's pretty good around the basket he's a good back to the basket type player he has some very good fundamental hook shots fundamental floaters it, it looks beautiful okay it, it looks really good but i will say this your boy drew eubanks where a lot of people kind of dog on him right now he has all of those things in his arsenal as well i truly do believe if drew eubanks right now today was in the g league he could put up numbers similar to this. Now, with that being said, sometimes you're gonna look like a completely different player when you get into the NBA from the G League. Now with Josh Primo, it's a little different. You know that he's a lottery pick. We've seen so many things in his arsenal where it even translates in the NBA when he's played a few games. You can see it here and there, right? It's, it's a few sparks here and there where you're like, whoa, whoa, that was that was something special. So it, it, it he's a little different, okay? So I don't wanna compare, um, uh, Josh Primo to to Devonte, but what I've seen is that he needs a lot of setup. He needs a lot of um, assist to him and get in the right position to make shots, which isn't necessarily a terrible thing. It's just that try your best not to overhype this too much. These numbers are good, they are, but the eye test is a thing too. If you just you know pay attention to the games and you'll see, yeah, he's a, he's a good. He will be a real, actually, I think a really good role player. Um, but with that being said, I did want to go back and at least look at some of his, um, you know, things that people were talking about you know, just a couple years ago when it came to his game. So as we can see here, from what I've seen, these are very accurate, but it also shows that he is a hard worker. So you can always use this type of player on your, on your team. So 
pros, all these pros are, are spot on. OK, you can read it if you want. They're, they're all spot on. I want to look at the cons. So he must extend his shooting range. He is shooting about 40 percent with three point attempts or two three point attempts a game. That's not bad. That, that's pretty that's pretty good. Um, he doesn't have to be a sharp shooter by any means, but that's leagues above what he was doing before where he was averaging zero. So he wasn't shooting at all. Um, also, they said that he needs to improve his free throw shooting. He's improving it. Uh, it's not great, but he's improving it. Uh, he went from 58 to 67. That's not necessarily easy to do. Now, keep in mind, the games played is only five, so there's a lot more games to be played. But I, I guarantee you that he definitely uh, worked on that. So then you go down a little bit more. Needs to improve his passing ability. I completely agree with this. But the thing is, he's not that type of player, I don't think. I don't think he's going to be able to be a player that facilitates or um, even reads uh, the, the, the defense exceptionally well. He's the type of guy that hustles hard, plays hard, and he needs to just be in the right place, the right time. And, you know, his, his teammates set him up a little bit. But with that being said, uh, this is a little troubling. But the ball is in his hands a lot. But 4.4 turnovers a game, that's not that's not great. Um, overall, like I said, he is playing well. Okay, he's not playing bad by any means. But I will say that. I'm just a little reserved. That's just my opinion. I'm a little reserved because of what I've seen. I've seen a guy play well as a role player that he will be in the NBA. And I haven't really put him on the pedestal yet that a lot of Spurs fans has have put him on. I, I just don't see it yet. But with that being said, I do like his game. I can see him coming in the NBA and being a guy that we really like due to his hustle, due to how hard he, he works, and he would fit in in the team in that regard. I mean, playing with uh, DeJounte Murray, who's continuously working hard, and that's all he praises or, or praise other players about is how hard they work. I could definitely see him going into that role, and yeah, the teammates love him, and, and Pop would love him. But overall, I just think that maybe we need to just pump the brakes a little bit and saying that he is going to be like an elite player on this team currently g league sometimes gives you that idea that the players are better than they are but with that being said i've seen you know enough of other players that i hype up that's it that you know are in the g league where i'm like okay that'll work last thing i'll say and because i know this might come up is wheeze camp i've talked really highly of wheezy and people probably would say well why do you praise wheezy um and he's in the g league and that's all you've seen from him and i would say that my expectations are different i just expect wheeze camp to be a sharpshooter and he's a good sharpshooter uh when it comes to Devonte, he's a really good hustle player uh he's a baller he's a hooper but i don't know if there's one thing he's just exceptional at that would stand out in the nba when it comes to wheeze camp I feel like he's, ex to me, I think he's going to be an exceptional three-point shooter. Uh, but when it comes to, to Devontae, I, I don't, I, I, I'm not seeing it yet. But you guys can, look, tell me I'm wrong. Because I, I want to be wrong, all right? I like him. Um, I watched some interviews with him as well. He was really cool, laid back. He seemed to be very, very, very mature, obviously. Uh, you, you're going to play for the Austin Spurs. Anything Spurs related, they're going to get you and you're going to, be pretty uh professional but overall man um i do like him i think he's a good player uh, i just don't know if i'm fully sold on you know what other people are saying but i could be wrong um but yeah if you guys want to support the channel once again uh you can become a patreon member two dollars a month youtube member and all that good stuff please let me know what you think in the comments and until next time guys i'll get with you later deuces